Hello, welcome back to Engineering Sound. In this video tutorial, I will explain Leica 12003. In first part of this video, I will explain how to do job setting and resection with Leica 12003. And in the second part, I will show how to do stakeout. In the third part, I will show how to do as build survey with Leica 12003. And also, I will explain how to import data to the total station and how to export the data from the total station this video will cover complete course and complete learning for total station you will be able to do after watching this video several times you will able to use any kind of total station with like a brands so keep in touch let's start the video Okay, first of all from this button, press this button, we will turn on our total station. Once it's turned on, I will explain. Maybe the video quality is not good, but I explain with very details. Keep in touch and watch the complete video. Go to the program option from here. This one, programs, click. okay once it open go to the setup and press enter button from your keypad enter and here select your job in which job is your benchmark station id is saved go to this bench uh, job and press enter button okay okay and the next come here here you can enter the id and you can also enter new coordinates to the job you can save if you save already in your job you can search from the arrows key from left to right up to down you can search your id's benchmark from here okay let me search my this one is my first TP and I will told to help her to go to the first station. Okay. Now we will target our first station and take observation of the first benchmark or ID. Okay. see from here you can able to see your prism and target it's very well with your crosshairs and press all okay press all the one observation is already done we will send our helper to the second point to pick the second one target and search from here your second TP okay and now we will take the observation from this one and we will see how much is our correction errors in sting northing and elevation okay now the helper is going to the second one TP and we will pick the second one okay let's click on all from here target very well and click on all and go to about this option and go to calculation button calc and go to the page to check the error between points you can see sting is 00, zero nothing is 00, zero only one millimeter error is in the elevation now total station is ready for job and in the next part of this video we will show how to do stake out with total station okay now our total station is ready for doing the job because our section is completed already now we'll go to the programs menu from the arrow key and press enter to go to stick out we will do stick out okay 
press the arrow keys left right and select and press enter button from your keypad enter okay and go to stake out click on stake out okay I am trying to zoom because I want to explain the video quality will be not good but I am trying to explain and from here you need to select the job but make sure that the both name of job will be same either it will be make a problem if it's not same okay now this is our uh, Jersey barrier jobs here is our uh, saved coordinates which I saved already its office and now we will search the coordinate id and we will uh, do the stakeout for this point go and you can also store new points okay from here okay go now this is our point I already search or point you can see the point number is changing from the display okay each point you want to need select this one and go to observation from here and make it this angle zero zero this is a slow motion screw you can make it easy uh, zero zero turn on once it uh, become zero zero the angle okay then you need to tell to your helper to go to even straight direction and pick first observation and how much is the difference you can told to him to go back forward or left right and click now you will see how is the situation okay target the prism very well from your total station okay and point to uh, your helper to come in front of the total station and once it's observed very well and target okay and press enter and all observe okay mm -hmm. okay and now we will do the observation check it how much is the difference in hitting nothing you can see you must shoot to click on distance okay f2 button is the distance button okay now we will told to our helper to go right left to come become come on the right position okay yes here is a 4 and 14 milli in nothing and also cut and fill is showing for the level is 1 millimeter okay and must should to take care of this if suppose the uh, a total station is showing to right the helper will be go to left if the total station is show to left then the helper will be go to right and back and forward is uh, simple he can go forward and back and the total station display is also showing uh, the point that uh, the guys need to go to left or right or uh, back or forward uh, now you can see it's a uh, few milliseconds remaining we need to bring it up to zero zero we will try we can't bring it to zero zero but we will try to bring it to one to two millimeter so one two millimeter is no problem uh, it's uh, normal and it is acceptable because uh, some errors is coming with the total station and basic errors and uh, there is the weather condition or etc you and click on the distance again the distance button is the one to pick the observation okay and check it out i hope it will become no good 
only the thing is that you must should to take care to your screen display and uh, to your uh, helper to told told him that uh, left right and uh, forward and uh, back uh, how is uh, the situation on your display you must should to give the instruction to the helper i hope it's good and uh, now this point is okay i in this other part i will explain uh, the next detail okay okay our stickout is completed now we will uh, learn how to do a speed survey with leica 1203 okay for this purpose first of all we need to go to this option survey okay go to programs and go to survey and press enter first we will select new job uh, we will create a job where we need to uh, add our points go to new and give a job name from here once you create the job then we will start our s build survey suppose we need to give the name njb and any name you can select here okay and click enter yes okay now job is ready and select the same job okay continue and uh, here is the id name and uh, take care of this reflector height if you need level for the points you must should to take care how much is the your reflector or prism height you must should to enter here either if you not enter your elevation will be incorrect Easting nothing will be well but the problem will be uh, in the, your level okay so take care of this okay and now we are completely ready if you click on distance it will give you option again to save but if you press the last one button all it will be automatically save this mean observation and point will be saved automatically yes you must should to uh, target your point your prism cross hairs once it target then you need to click on all or distance but the good one is all it's a quick one you can see the display there is two option record distance if you click distance then you go to record if you click all it's mean everything is complete in one step observation and record point is recorded now so and this method you can pick your points and you can select your point ids from here and uh, and send your helper to the next option uh, to point how much point you need uh, you can pick and later in the other part i will explain uh, how to the same data which you pick from the site to uh, usb or uh, card memory card then next you can uh, import also to computer autocad software and any other software there is a lot of engineering softwares like uh, total st micro station autocad okay now i am uh, going to explain uh, how to export the data same as build data from total station to uh, sd card uh, which we pick recently uh, from the observation from the survey option uh, you need to go to this option to the convert okay and press enter from here okay and then uh, it's called a uh, import data export data uh, we need to um, uh, export the data from here there is two option one is the export and one is the import a uh, click to export and click on ASCII file uh, here is our SD card is there okay here is uh, your job name you can select the job from here and this one is give to you option uh, you want to uh, export this data or you want to export a, another data we should export so anyhow uh, we need to uh, explain again uh, convert and go to the export and come to the export dxf as well you can export uh, as a, a dxf and as a other format and here is your point 10 points we picked recently with the survey and go to yes okay in this part of video we will import data to total station if you prepare the data in computer in office and you go to site to do setting out go to the convert option click on the convert again there is will be the two option 
it's pretty easy to do this uh, before go to site you must should to prepare data in import go to the import option and go to ACI and select uh, the file name from here our file name is uh, median 603608 we will uh, search this one from here from the arrow key okay and uh, again go here uh, next we will go to create a new job we need to create a new job in which uh, job we need to import the same file okay give here job name okay uh, go to new and create the job same as i explained it's pretty uh, simple very much simple and give the name here suppose we need to median cop stone yes and click on okay click okay enter and okay okay now it's uh, ready we will go again to dxf and we will we will import okay dxf and click and the same file uh, which we create the file will be imported you can see the process is ongoing okay now you can see uh, 89 point is imported uh, import to your total station now it's ready to use for stakeout i hope uh, you guys learn from this video uh, keep in touch if you like please uh, hit the like button we will see in the next tutorial goodbye